Well, this is Thomas again. We're at the Fix All Home and Garden. Uh, just funny, I'm sitting here drinking coffee, and of course, I just uh, decided to check some of my emails and phone records, and sure enough, I got an approval on a fence job. Uh, so I had to coordinate with the uh, homeowner uh, that rent the tenant and just let them know a dam coming out there and uh, fix a broken fence that still the posts are rotted at the very bottom. Um, but anyway, you know, when we were talking about starting a small business, um, you know, anywhere you go, even if it's your supposed day off, you really don't have a day off when you become an owner. When you become an owner, you know, you basically, your time is to serve, uh, serve your uh, clients, uh, serve your, uh, uh, you know, people who contract you, and uh, especially since I do rental management, um, that is one of the key things that you got to do is always be available and uh, follow up. You must follow up. If you're given a name, uh, your contact time should be uh, no more than 48 hours. Uh, if, if you really want to run a successful small business, you've got to be able to um, follow up with the tenants, the homeowners, the rental management company, or you know whatever corporation you're dealing with. But at the same time, you've got to make sure that um, that you put your best foot forward, uh, make sure everybody knows who you are, uh, what the purpose of your call is, and and basically just let people know what's going on, so they can you know because people have busy lives. You don't want to just step into a situation where you're interrupting them or not showing you know or showing up. Uh, unannounced. Uh, that's that's just the worst thing in the world you can possibly do is to show up unannounced. Uh, you know, you can you can lose your business even with all the good intentions, even if you have them. Uh, the bottom line is is that you know, show up unannounced. Uh, you won't have a business for long because people will complain. They're very sensitive. People are very sensitive uh, about their personal space, even if they're renting. Remember, it's their space. If they're renting it, it's ownership. You know, in their mind, uh, they're renting it. That's their ownership. So anyway. Uh, you know, again, here I am at the Ray Price Harley Davidson having some. I found a free donut, by the way, the last one in the box. So I took it immediately, got my coffee, and uh, sitting here. And I figured I'd better check my emails and uh, uh, my follow up because there was one customer that I literally did not, didn't have the ability to talk to. And of course, I got a hold of her uh, by accident. I dialed her number to another person, and it was their number. I don't have my logbook with me or my books or anything, I'm just going blind. Uh, on the phone number, so I just dialed in. It just happened to be Tina, the person I needed to get a hold of anyway, so that was perfect. So I set that appointment up for Tuesday Tuesday morning to re rebuild this fence. Um, I got a couple of big landscaping jobs coming up. I got to coordinate on that too. That weather actually is perfect for today, but you know, after uh, being at the hospital, uh, power washing that for five straight days, um, you know, uh, Monday through Friday, just just absolutely physically brutal work. I decided to go ahead and just take the day off and enjoy my bike, which of course uh, I'm glad I did. Uh, turned out to be an awesome day. You know, sitting here having my uh, free coffee and my free one donut that I found, and showing you guys some bikes, some cars, some people, and. Uh, you know, again, you know, uh, you know, it's not a matter of, you know, if you own a business. I think a quote once was that um, it's, it's, it's all right to earn a living, but you got to also have a life. You know, uh, make money, but, you know, sometimes you got to go out and spend it and, uh, you know, just have some fun, you know, unwind a little bit because I'm probably one of uh, the worst people to give advice as far as learning how to unwind. I don't know when the last time I've taken a vacation. And my nickname's The Machine, because I just never want to stop earning money or working. But uh, now I'm getting a little older. I'm 55 years old. I don't think I said that in any earlier clips, but I'm 55 years old. And it's about time that I take a little break, you know, here and there. Uh, you know, I don't want to get too comfortable, obviously. But um, the whole point is, is that if you're a business owner or you want to become a business owner, you know, you got to balance your time. you got to balance your time between family, friends, um, you know, your relationships with contracts and the customers that you have, you got to make sure you take a little personal time with them. And uh, basically, also, uh, you've got to take some time for yourself. So, anyway, I just thought I'd share that little uh, moment. Um, you know, again, even though I'm off, I'm not ever off. I think the only time I'm maybe off is when I'm sleeping, but I'm still thinking about work or dreaming about work. We're having a nightmare about work, so the bottom line is, is that, you know, if you want to own a small business, uh, you know, be willing. I'm, I'm viewing myself. You're good. Thanks. Um, 
if you want to own a small business and, and you have, uh, like I said, uh, the tenacity to do it and you want to go for it, there's a lot of things to consider. Uh, you know, even days off, you know, if you're trying to schedule something around other people uh, and other things, other events, uh, you know, they may get disrupted. You know, that's pretty much the bottom line. Uh, and, and, and don't overthink it's not important. you got to really focus on putting... Uh, your best effort out there because you know when it comes to business you know people really don't have a time or a clock uh, they just want to see results and they just want to make sure you're there and uh, the faster that you can respond to uh, any kind of call any kind of estimate or any kind of anything uh, is always going to work in your favor you know the, like they say the early bird gets the worm that's very true let me tell you but it doesn't necessarily mean that just because you're there first you're going to get the job uh, there's so many other little layers uh, to your personality and the, the, the initial contact that, you know, it plays a major role in if you're going to get the next contract or the next gig. But anyway, let's get back to the fun. I'm going to try to enjoy my day off again and uh, talk to you soon.